Dragon. Hello everyone, welcome back. This is a look at 40712 Micro Rocket Launchpad. This is a gift with purchase set that was from the Lego store directly. It comes with two space babies, which are sort of like minifigures but not completely. And it comes with four individual small builds for this set. I personally think this might be one of the best sets of 2024, believe it or not, even though it's a promo, because it just has so many interesting, cool pieces. And it's just a fun set, most importantly. It's creative and it shrinks everything down. It also references older sets by combining two sets, one that involves the, the um, buggy and another that involves the rocket section. I think the best part of this set is probably the buggy. I really love how they did the wheels and the suspension on the wheels so that you can have it at all different um, angles and it can drive over different terrains. Um, the stickers in the set are included. So there is no prints for the classic space logo, which is a shame. But then they did that with the Blacktron Cruiser promo. That was just um, stickers, unfortunately, as well. So I can only kind of understand that. And by the way, the Batman Cruiser is another one of the best promos, I think, that LEGO has done. I just like the space promos. I think they're great. <clears throat> As you may notice, the space babies actually fit in all these vehicles. So here they are on the buggy. And you can actually have the white one at the back here and the blue one at the front. I really like this new um, color recolor for this windscreen piece in Chan's Yellow for the very first time. I wish I could get some extras of these because this would be great for... Uh, building lego city sized cars that are classic space related but unfortunately this set is really expensive to get on ebay and it's no longer available um in the uk on on the lego website because it's sold out <clears throat> i like the use of a steering wheel there on this craft by just using that um that modified tile that has the little sticky out bit on it by sticking that into into a jumper plate upside down. I think it's not that perfect because obviously it's like facing upwards, but it still works the best that I think they could get without making some new piece in order to represent the steering wheel. One of the biggest draws of this set for me, apart from obviously the space babies and the wheels on this vehicle, is actually the fact that you can put this rocket on either here and on the rocket launch pad itself. When it's on here, I actually like it the most though, because it functions in so many different angles. Because you can have it like this, so it's just sitting on top being carried. Or you can have it like it's being dropped off. You can have it like that, so it's being launched upright. Or yes, you can actually pull this all the way down to the ground like it's being dropped off. I think that's a great range of motion. And most pr promos do not have this level of playability. But you can also unclip this rocket really easily and then put this back to the way it is normally. The only thing is this bit doesn't look as interesting when there's nothing on it. But you still do get this nice um, laser that's attached to the side just to give this area a bit more purpose. It's a shame in some ways there's no studs there. You could put a minifigure on top activating the gun but then that wouldn't really be feasible for adding this like i say as for the rocket launch pad part itself you can put this on here and to do that what you have to basically do is just push this the bottom of this onto here before i said that actually i do like how they use the trans red studs on the bottom with clip that are clipped onto this element in order to add little thrusters at the bottom i think that was nice but yeah you just push that onto there and it just sits in there like that it does look really cool it's a very simple build, but it does look really detailed for what it is. Again, everything is a sticker, so that includes this one, which unfortunately has to be put across a curved brick, which isn't the most fun. But because this sticker is actually not um, like just a square sticker, because it's cut directly to the shape of the classic space logo, it actually gives you the sort of perception and sort of full sense of confidence that you can put it on without messing it up. <clears throat> I like the use of these textured round bricks here just to give a little bit more detail and break up all of the white sections. There's also a ladder here which doesn't really do anything but again it adds texture. 
This part on the top, I think, is just to represent that the uh, rocket isn't currently being used, but I could be wrong. It could actually be a part of it in sequence of launch. Obviously, these, these grey bar um, plate pieces are a great way of sort of housing, giving you a sort of a, uh, uh, just a feeling of housing in the rocket and keeping it stable. They've added these, which are on the back, these trans-coloured uh, cylinders. So you've got a red one and a green one. They are a definite callback to a lot of the older classic space stuff that would use that sort of thing to show you different things that have a range of motion. It's just really nice that they did that. The base itself is really simple and it just uses um, yellow um, corner tiles. And it sort of it just sort of breaks out really nicely and there's not much yellow on this particular part of the build so it's good that they had some yellow there there's not really any trans yellow though unfortunately which is a bit of a shame but they don't need to have trans yellow on everything i guess now going back to this um this i think represents one of the very first ever classic space sets i can't remember exactly what it's called now but it's not the Galaxy Explorer. Some people said it's supposed to be the very first one, I think, that they ever did in Classic Space. Like a little, it was a little craft anyway, but they've just made it even smaller. But I guess some people could say it's like a Galaxy Explorer. I don't think it is, though, because it's not closed in. It's supposed to be one of the original little um, little spacecrafts they did. It was just like one person anyway. And no, not the one-man spaceship. This is like the original, original, I think. But there's not really a lot you need to sound this. It's got dish elements at the bottom to support it. It's got little thrusters on the back there. It's got these dual um, aerials on each side to just represent, I don't know, radio transmissions or whatever you want it to be, really. But, um, yeah, you can fit the Space Baby on this as well. So, like I said, so you can put that in there. And it looks pretty good. The only thing is when it's in this, it does cover up the classic space logo on the torso of the Space Baby. So you sort of lose that nice print. But then that's something you get used to with putting figures in builds anyway. So it's not like it's news, really. But yeah, I think it's fun. But I like this as well. This is pretty good. This is one of the other best bits. It's the little, um, it's like a little, um, sp sp it's like a little transmissions tower or... Just a little, just a little hangout, little base, whatever. It's got like the illusion of steps by using cheese slopes, one by two size tile, and then it's got like this here, which could represent just a little a radar, like a smaller radar, and then you've got the main radar on the top there, which can actually be hinged like this, which is cool. It's got some nice green trans type studs there to represent energy coming out. Again, these I think haven't been done in Trans Yellow before. They might have been done in the newest Monkey Kid Megaopolis set, but I could be wrong. But I haven't seen them before. They are like the yeah, just the regular like panels that are one like two bricks high ones, and they've used three there, and they've snot snot mounted them that way, and then they've used some on the back and the sides as well. It's just so simple, and this comes together really quickly. But I think they've captured everything they need perfectly, and. I just like, again, the new colour for this piece. I just like it when they recolour new pieces in Trans Yellow. It just gives you so much more variety of capturing that Trans Yellow um, signature of Classic Space without having to keep using the same pots over and over again. Um, the base is how it's connected again. uses radar uses um, dish pieces in grey again, but it also uses these, I forget what these are called, they're like these railing weird railing pieces i can't remember what they're called but they use those to support legs again you can put space babies in it so you're able to use these jumper plates tiles that are in here and put them in here so look there's the white one and you can also fit the uh, blue one in here as well so you can put the blue one in there too and it looks like a little baby daycare for spacemen it's kind of fun but um yeah, and so this is a great build, I think. But again, referring back... Oh, actually, there's a nice bar on the side as well for texture. I didn't mention that. There's these um, stud brackets here as well, these bracket plates. But they don't have anything on them, which is a bit strange. But again, they do stud texture, so I'm not going to complain. But yeah, again, back to this, which is my favourite part of the build. 
I did like how they used steering wheels for regular minifigures as like little faucets or something for releasing like, I don't know, a valve of build up of energy or or just to <clears throat> change the fuel. I don't know. <clears throat> but I just liked how they used that. A ladder again to climb up. You can use your imagination. The lights on the front are good. Using these uh, telescope pieces with, with um, studs on the end. And they've used these cheese lights in trans yellow there to represent even more lights and to also finish off the canopy and have like an underneath part like they do in some of the older um, classic space sets. But um, they've added the um, thrust little thrusters on the back, whatever they're for. We don't always know. They could be used as cameras or they could be thrusters. They are not. They are not for air, though I wouldn't think, because in space they're not really going to have air valves very much. Unless they were taking in air valves as a way of using a build-up. But there's not really air in space. But then this could be on the surface of a planet as it's a rover. So, you know, they could be... they could It could be something that m uh, measures or analyzes the atmosphere. That's a possibility. I like to have different imaginations about what some of these things are. Because it's just fun. Like, there's telescope pieces on here. Like, I don't know what they're for. Are they meant to actually be telescopes that... But then how, why would they be if the scale of the space babies? So I really don't know what they're supposed to be, to be quite honest with you. I'm trying to gauge what they could be. Unless they're supposed to represent, I don't know, like... I don't know. Actually, I really don't know what they're supposed to be. I don't know. Just more more outlets, I guess. But, um, yeah, I think this is a great build. This is one of the best spacey builds for a while, I think. I think the whole set's great. I mean, some people might go, oh, they should have just done it in normal mini thick scale, but then it would have been massive. <clears throat> I know that might be a good thing, but it wouldn't have it. But I think this captures so many important key elements of classic space without having to be massive. And I just like space babies, and I think the scale is so good. It's not, it's not like actual micro scale, because, like, it's not to the scale of, like, one of these little tiny action figure pieces, whatever they're called. It's not like that scale. It's not like architecture scale. So it's not tiny. You don't lose all the details. I know it's called the micro rocket launch pad, but it's not really micro. It's just it's just space baby scale, which I actually think could be a new scale. They could even do other stuff like this. Like, they could start introducing pirate space and um, pirate um babies or castle babies or night babies or whatever you want to call them and do... Stuff like this for that. I think it could be fun. But it's a shame this is a promo. I don't know why this had to be a promo. Because I get that it's good to do decent promos. But I feel like this is almost too good. And if it was a normal set. Perhaps they could have done prints instead of stickers. So that's sort of a bit of a shame. But but um, I'd rather have it than not at all obviously. But, and this will look great with other space sets I imagine too. But um. But yeah, I feel like just like the Black Twin Cruiser, this would have sold out really well as a normal set as well. Not just as a promo. And the fact this set sold out so quick either tells me it's, that they didn't make many of them or that it's just really popular. And I'm actually willing to bet the more really popular option is the more likely one. Even though it had quite a high threshold to get this, it was like 180 quid or something, which is a lot. But for a promo, this has quite a lot of pieces. I think it was 325 pieces. Yeah, 325 pieces this was, which is quite a lot for a promo, I think. But anyway, the last thing I want to show you is that this has the wheels on this vehicle, how good they are at driving over surfaces. Here it is with a lid of a container, see? It just like bumps over the container. So it can basically go over any almost any surface because of the way they've designed these wheels. And I actually think this would be really fun for your own mocks if you were willing to make your own buggies and things. Just to copy this build technique using Technic elements and the Speed Champion style wheels. So yeah, I think just even just introducing this design is just great. But yeah, there's not really a lot else I need to say on this really. Perhaps maybe in a later video I may show this Nexus Mel Classic Space stuff. I don't know, but I feel like in this video I've covered enough really for what needs to be said, and I feel like that from what you see here would be a selling point on if this set is a good set or not regardless of if I show you other sets but I do think this would be fun as a conclusion next to the recent Galaxy Explorer remake and perhaps next to Benny's Space Squad 
or Benny's workshop sets. Basically, other, other modern space sets would go really well with this. But anyway, there's my thoughts on this set. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Feel free to like, share and subscribe for more videos. And see you again in the next one. Goodbye. Actually, the last thing I need to do is give you a quick close look at the new Space Babies as well. Because they are actually exclusive to this set. Because they contain the regular smiley faces as opposed to the baby smiley faces. The blue outfit itself though is not exactly brand new because it was in the minifig series that came in the brown astronaut. But the white one is completely new. I forgot to show you those so I will quickly show you those as well. And actually also mention there are a couple of prints in the set such as these two here. And also there's one in here as well. But anyway, let me just show you those. This is the white one, which is a separate has a separate head part, which can be removed. And same goes for the blue one. The hands can't hold anything, of course, like other space babies. But anyway, thanks for watching.